Hi, this is Cassie Nowak, and I just wanted to show you how you can take a file that has lots and lots of pages and just share one of those pages or several of those pages with your students. So I'm going to download a product, and this one has over 100 pages, and I don't want to give those all to my students at once. Maybe I want to give them a week's worth at a time. So once your file is downloaded, the first thing you're going to want to do is unzip it or extract it. So it will open up automatically in your downloads, and I'm just going to click Extract All to unzip the files. Once the files are unzipped, I'm going to go ahead and go out of that, but I'm going to go right back into that folder, my downloads, so that I can find the unzipped version. Once it's unzipped, you can right click on the file, the PDF file, and open it with Chrome. So I'm going to right click and click Open With and then Google Chrome. Once you open that file in Google Chrome, you'll have a couple of different options to make it really useful. You can save pages of this PDF file straight to your Google Drive, or you can create a brand new PDF out of the pages that you want to. So here as I look at this file, I can see that it's a lot of pages, but I'm going to give my students a week's worth. So I want to give them page two, three, four, five, and six. So I just want to give them pages two through six and the rest of the PDF I don't care about right now. So all I'm going to do is go up here until I can see the print icon and click it. Now you'll see that it's 101 pages and you can have a preview of all of those pages. If you click this down arrow, you'll see some options. You can print it with your printer, you can save it as a PDF, or you can save it straight to your Google Drive. If you want to share your file on Google Classroom, this is a great option. So I'm going to click Save to Google Drive. Now where it says Pages, I'm going to just pick a custom number of pages. So maybe I want pages two through six. Notice how the preview window changes and it's only showing me the pages that I want to keep. Now I can click Save. It's going to automatically save it into whatever Google Drive you're logged into. So you can go into your Google Drive and you'll see that that file has been saved. Now you can share it with your students in Google Classroom email them, email it to their parents, or however you share your PDF files. If you don't want it in Google Drive, you can also just save it as a regular PDF file, a smaller one, and you do it the same way. You click Print. Now I'm going to choose the down arrow and click Save as PDF. Now I'm going to find a custom range of pages, so two through six. I'll see my preview right here and see that those are the pages that I want, and then I click Save. It will let you choose where you want to save it, but it'll probably default to your Downloads folder. So you can rename it, and then click Save. Now it's saved right in that folder. Here it is, Small Bundle. When you open it, you'll see that it's only the five pages that you want. So use this strategy when you have a long PDF file, but you only want to share parts of it at a time. Good luck.